From really cute and awe-inspiring to super creepy and weird, nature keeps proving its diversity and beauty by creating wondrous creatures. On today's Cool Peeps Top 10 show, we are talking about 10 animals you won't believe actually exist. We begin as usual at number 10 with the goblin shark. The goblin shark has been caught in all three major oceans, indicating a wide global distribution. This pink-skinned animal has a distinctive profile with an elongated flat snout and highly purchasable jaws containing prominent nail-like teeth. At number 9, we have the Japanese spider crab. The Japanese spider crab is a species of marine crab that lives in the waters around Japan. It has the largest leg span of any arthropod. They go through three main larval stages along with a preserved stage in order to grow into their giant size. They are considered a delicacy, but conservation efforts are being put forth to protect these creatures and their population from the dangers of overfishing. The mantis shrimp is at number eight. They are among the most important predators in many shallow tropical and subtropical marine habitats. Mantis shrimps have powerful raptorials that are used to attack and kill prey either by spearing, stunning or dismembering. However, despite being common, they are poorly understood as many species spend most of their lives tucked away in burrows or holes. Scotoplanes are at number 7. Commonly referred to as sea pigs, they are very tiny and have a toxic chemical in their skin which causes harm to other creatures. They have a poorly developed respiratory system and they breathe from their anus. Their bodies are made for the deep seas and bringing them too close to the surface will cause them to disintegrate. The thorny devil is at number 6. The thorny devil, also known commonly as the mountain devil, thorny lizard, Thorny dragon and Moloch is a species of lizard in the family Agamidae. This species can be found in Australia with the females generally larger than the males. At number 5, we have the Venezuelan Pudo moth. This is a moth photographed in 2009 by zoologist Dr. Arthur Anka in the Grand Sabana region of Venezuela. The name comes from a comparison of its physical appearance to a cross between a moth and a poodle. At number 4, we have the blue-footed booby. The blue-footed booby is a marine bird native to subtropical and tropical regions of the eastern Pacific Ocean. It is easily recognizable by its distinctive bright blue feet, which is a sexually selected trait. Males display their feet in an elaborate mating ritual by lifting them up and down while strutting before the female. The female is slightly larger than the male and can measure up to 90 centimeters long with a wingspan up to 1.5 meters. The white margin stargazer is at number 3. They inhabit reef flats and coastal bottoms but are rarely seen because they lie buried in sand or mud most of the time with only their eyes showing. When buried, the siri on the edge of their mouth serve to keep out sand during respiration. The oral lure is used to attract their prey within striking range of the mouth. Their shoulder has a venomous clitoral spine. Wounds inflicted can be very serious. At number 2, we have the star-nosed mole. The star-nosed mole is a small mole found in moist low areas in the northern parts of North America. It is the only member of the tribe having a touch organ with more than 25,000 minute sensory receptors known as imus organs with which this hamster-sized mole feels its way around. Star-nosed moles are actually great swimmers because of their front claws and they were the first mammals that were proven to be able to smell underwater. Now last but definitely not the least we have the raccoon dog. The raccoon dog also known as the mangu, tanuki or nyoguri is a canid indigenous to East Asia. Despite its name, its closest relatives are the true foxes and not the American raccoons. And that's it for today. Don't forget to like this video, share it with friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be back with a new top 10 list for you.